Hey guys, Lynn Burke here, Blue City Music owner uh, from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, today we're doing a video series in Houston, Texas, home of diamond amplification, diamond guitars, diamond tactical gig bags. And I'm with the CEO, founder of uh, all three, and that's Jeff Diamond. And uh, thanks for letting us come in here today. Um, and there you go, I like the wave. Okay, that's good. And we're gonna talk today about the uh, diamond tactical bags. Uh, this is the uh, the third part of his company. First, he started out with the amps. Then he decided to go into the guitars. Now he's got a great gig bag. Now I got to tell you, I use this bag all the time, and he and because it's the best made. I've had Road Ready. I've had, of course, like everybody else out there, Fender bags, every other kind of import bag you can think of. This is my bag. I mean, I carry a Tom Anderson around in it. This exact same bag right here. So I'm gonna let him talk about this, and you'll see all the strapping system on here. That's military based. There's a reason for that, uh, and I'll let him take it from here. So, Jeff? Uh, sure. Okay, so here's the here's the thing with Diamond Tactical. Diamond Tactical makes tactical products, okay? Um, it didn't start out as a gig bag company. It started out making tactical products for, you know, tactical law enforcement, military, whatever, uh, even the recreational shooter. And what I realized is, you know, years ago, the military had run into problems. They'd have things like their tactical vests, for example, and they'd try to configure the pockets on them. And as you know, from buying a bag or a briefcase or anything else, you, you never seem to be able to quite find one that's configured the way that you really want it for you, the, your specific way, right? Well, you know, if you're an operator in the field, uh, you know, military operator, you've got... Uh, you, you know, your configuration of what you're carrying and how you're carrying it is very important to you. So they ran into the problem of like, we have too many different configurations. We can't seem to satisfy all the operators. So how do we solve that problem? We really need to come up with a way of doing this in a modular system that allows you to uh, develop your system the way you want to, right? So you can move things around to configure it for yourself. So the military developed this system called the Molly system, and you can see this, like the strapping here or here, which is actually all the way down the front of the bag and all the way up the neck of the bag. And so by doing that, what you did is you could take what were what would have been pockets sewn onto an object, and you can weave them onto the object so that anybody can do it. So the way this works is you've got you probably can't see it on the tape, but the back side of these pouches have straps that go this way and straps that go this way. And so you literally just weave it on. It goes over, under, over, under, over, under, and straps your item in place, right? Your bag or whatever, your pouch or whatever, it straps it into place. This is the same system the military uses for their combat gear. It's called the Molly system for modular, lightweight, load carrying equipment. So what what we did is, it was actually interesting when it happened because I had a, I had a base gig bag, my backpack, and a, a padded rifle case sitting on the floor all at the same time. And it was like that Beavis and Butthead moment where sure. you're like, all, all together. oh, wait a minute, right? And I realized that guitar players aren't any different. We all carry different things. We have different applications for what we're doing, whether we're teaching or going to a gig or a rehearsal or a fly date or whatever it is. We have different things that we need, and we want to carry certain things with us uh, that help us do our thing, right? And everybody's need for what they're carrying is different than everybody else's. So I'm like, why can't we adopt that same system and bring it into the guitar player? So the guitar player can say, I can configure my bag the way I want to configure my bag. So this one, for example, has, um, you know, this pouch right here is called the 10-6, uh, the multi-use or uh, the cable wah pouch, which is great for cables or wah. I've got phone pouch on here size for iPhone. Uh, this is the 1211 Intel pouch, which would be great for anything from sheet music and stuff like that, or to lesson binders. Uh, I use this when I travel, and I'm, I mean, I went to Shanghai and New York, all over the place on this, and for you know one, two day trips, I just put all my clothes in here, my toiletries in here, my guitar on the inside. Um, this pouch right here on top is, this is a cool one, let me show you. This is the, med crash kit so when you open that up it folds open you've got two different sides in there right so i can put like strings in a winder or other tools in there um, this is the um, uh, essentials pouch so i could put you know phone cigarettes whatever wallet in here there's a fob for your keys and stuff so i can, can i can use this however i want and then we built into it 
the laptop pouch on the back, oh, yeah, like that. which size for at least a 15 inch MacBook Pro. And then what we did to adopt it as well is we took the same level that we were making the tactical grade products for and said, let's build to the same level quality as the tactical products and let's build to mill spec so that you're actually getting a rugged and durable bag. So we use high density padding, we use certain types of material, certain types of zippers, types of zippers, even the stitching is done certain ways so that it's built rugged to the military standards. You know, if you're going to carry your guitar around, you kind of want to carry it in something that is going to last, you know, and protect it. And these people, there's tons of these 49, 39, even $79 gig bags on the market. You know, we, you know, like the padding inside of one of those is like a paper towel, right? And so, I mean, why would you, what are you really going to do with that bag? It's okay to take my guitar to the car and put it in the back seat theoretically, but I'm not going to set it down anywhere. And we wanted to make something that was functional. So I've flown with this, uh, like I said, I've flown to Germany, Shanghai, New York, California, all over the place, just carrying this bag um, and everything else that I needed uh, with me. And it's built to last and it's built durable that way. And it's built to give you your instrument the protection you need. But not like these bags out there, these gig bags that are $300, $200. Um, it doesn't need to be done that way. So now you have a system, a carry, what we call a carry system, that gives you your guitar the protection, but it also gives you um, the flexibility to configure it how you want it. So that's what we did. And Diamond Tactical is actually releasing uh, a double guitar version of this soon. Um, it's already done. We just got to um, get them made. And then we have a pedal board bag that's designed to hold like a Pedal Train Junior 1 or 2. Uh, a small version of that, and then we also have a really neat thing coming out, which is the mobile ops duffel bag. The military and tactical guys use it because the bottom section of the duffel zips off, so they'll put their weapons and strap them in in the bottom section, and then they put their tack gear in the top and molly system around it, and so they've got a go bag that's ready for full tactical application. Well, the guitar players can use it, like you could put an assassin head in the top perfectly, or you could put your clothes and stuff. The bottom half zips off. It's got loop Velcro on it, so you can literally build your pedal board in the bottom of the bag. So when you get to where you're going, you just zip it off. Your pedal board's done. Your gig bag's there, and you set it wherever you want. When you're done, you put your bag back on it, zip it up, and you take your pedal board home and throw it all over your shoulder. So, and, and even better for a fly date, because now I can walk on the plane with an amp and a pedal board if I want to, uh, all built in that one little mobile ops duffel bag. That's and fit in the overhead. That's right. So that's coming out soon too. Okay, that's great. And uh, like Jeff said, he does a lot of flying. I do that for a living. And I can tell you right now, this bag uh, is going with me tomorrow night when I get back uh, uh, back home to Memphis. I'm going to Los Angeles. I'm bringing my Tom Anderson. I'm bringing one of uh, Diamond guitars with me. I've got a gig in Malibu. This bag is one I'm using, and I, I love everything about it. I mean, it's extremely durable. I've taken it on half a dozen around the world trips at FedEx. Um, and the other thing I like about it is it doesn't, it, it, it's not necessarily uh, airtight, but it does prevent uh, coming in an extremely dry airplane and coming out into a moist environment like Delhi in the middle of the summer when it's 125 degrees. So it really protects it. When I get the, the, um, the rig back into the hotel room, it felt like it did in the airplane. So I really like the protection it offers in a non-waterproof, if you will, water-resistant non air type environment uh, the road readies that i had that i've always bought at the, at the box stores they don't work well that that comes down to the mill spec thing and that comes down to the material that we're using not only the surface material but the padding material that's one of the reasons why that's true because it protects it's designed to protect weapons and sensitive gear you know we even adopted the military name tape so your bag comes ready for a customizable name tape like any military gear would so you can throw your name on your bag and there you go Oh, yeah, and, I, and like you were saying, it was for Diamond, Diamond Tactical. Uh, I could put any of my ARs in here all day long. Well, funny that you say that because we actually have a lot of guys that do that. We, uh, it's, it's actually hit the market in uh, the tactical world as what we call discrete carry rifle system. Sure. And we developed a product called a TLS strap or tactical lockdown strap. So 
the, the, the guys who live in gun states uh, who like to be a little bit more discreet under today's climate, you know, you walk out of the house with a rifle bag, people look at you funny, but you walk out with a guitar bag, they don't. And so they use the neck cradle to strap down the barrel end of the gun and the TLS to strap down, to strap down the receiver. And that's actually a very frequent carry system for a lot of our customers. I think more people are doing that with guns than they are with uh, guitars even. So um, it's, it's absolutely suited for that. And, that, and that's what that I've used it for, too, as a big shooter as well. So, uh, guys, you can get those right here, uh, diamondamps.com. You can give Jeff a call here at the factory. You can also give us a call at Blues City Music at 901-485-8250. Uh, you can catch us on the, catch us on the web uh, as well. Um, and you think so? Yeah, www.bluescitymusic.com. Diamondamps.com is going to be the best way to catch this as well, right? For, the, for these products, you'd want to go to www.diamondtactical.net, diamondtactical.net, and that's where we carry not